Hey, my lovelies. Did you know that strawberries actually aren't berries at all because they wear their seeds on the outside? Welcome to my brand new series I'm calling Tastes of Summer. This is a series that's going to celebrate all of the beautiful fresh produce that is available in the summer months. And of course, I had to kick things off with my all time favorite fruit, strawberries. When you're picking your strawberries, you wanna look for ones that are nice, bright, and plump. They should be a little shiny and still have their green caps attached. They should feel firm to the touch and smell nice and sweet and fragrant. When you get them home, you wanna store them in the refrigerator in a single layer on a paper towel. This is going to help prolong their life. When it comes to great flavor pairings, strawberries are oh so versatile. They pair beautifully with both vanilla and chocolate, with fresh herbs like basil and mint. They also do really well with highly acidic things like balsamic vinegar and spicy things like black pepper. If you're looking for some great strawberry recipes, not to worry, I've got you covered on the channel. I've got an incredible strawberry lemonade smoothie. I've also got some strawberry jalapeno iced tea. And if you wanna take things way over the top, you cannot go wrong with my strawberry stuffed French toast. That stuff is to die for. But today we are celebrating strawberry season with an absolute classic. We are making strawberry shortcake and it is oh so good and actually a lot easier to make than you might think. Now this recipe is made in three separate steps. We're going to get started by preparing our strawberries. I've got mine washed, trimmed, and quartered in a bowl. I'm just going to sprinkle on some sugar and give it all a stir. This is going to help those strawberries release their moisture and you're gonna end up with this beautiful, syrupy, sweet strawberry mixture that is epic tasting. We're just going to place those in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or so and let them get delicious while we get to work on our actual biscuits. I'm getting started by mixing my dry ingredients. I've got some flour in my bowl. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, some baking powder for lift, and a little sprinkle of salt. I'm going to whisk that together until it's well combined, and then I'm going to add in my chilled butter. I'm going to use my hands to break up the butter until it becomes a nice crumbly texture. Then it's time to add my buttermilk. I like adding it a half a cup at a time until I get a nice doughy consistency. To make my biscuit shapes, I'm going to roll my dough out on a lightly floured surface until it's about three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to use a circular cookie cutter to cut out my shapes. I'm going to place these biscuits on a parchment lined baking sheet, brush on a little bit of egg wash and sprinkle them with sugar. I'm going to pop these beauties in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or so or until they're nice and beautiful and golden. Once they come out of the oven, we're going to let them cool and that will give us just enough time to make our homemade whipped cream. Now in this case, of course, I'm starting with some whipping cream in my bowl. I'm going to sweeten that up a little bit with some powdered sugar. And to make this extra special, I am also adding the seeds of half a vanilla bean. You could add vanilla extract here, that's totally an option, but I seriously think vanilla bean seeds just make for the most amazing flavor. I'm going to whip all of that yumminess up until it's nice and light and fluffy, and then it's time to get assembling. I've got my biscuits cut in half. I'm simply going to spoon on a whole heaping helping of my strawberry mixture, add a big dollop of my fresh whipped cream, and then top it with the other half of my biscuit. Guys, Seriously though, how incredible does this look? I really hope you will give this classic recipe a try and that you love it as much as I do. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because I of course love seeing all your fruity creations. Keep in mind, all of the recipes are in the description box below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.